Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here, and the sun is setting over Anvil. We just arrived here in the last episode with Brother Martin, who will follow us anywhere. We're supposed to be going back to the Wayne Empriory, but Martin, you know me, I just want to go on a little sightseeing trip. So in the last episode, we actually visited the Fighters Guild here in Anvil. We were told that there's a lady who has a rat problem. So apparently we have to go and talk to somebody about some problems with the rats in the basement. Because of course, why did it have to be rats? So I think she lives right here actually, Arvena Thullus. So let's see what's up, shall we? Oh, excuse the teleporting priest. Hello, where is she? There you are. Oh, my poor little rats. Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Good, I have a problem. It has to do with the rats in my basement. Okay. That's right. Rats in my basement, and something has been killing them. It's horrible. My poor babies. You must do something. I don't know what I'd do without them. Their little pink noses, their scaly little tails. Please get to the basement and find out what's happening. All right, sure. So that's that's the twist. That voice actress went all out. Have you spoken to Wilbert, the Count's arms? He knows a lot about fine wines. I don't care. You can't imagine the fuss some people make. My rats are no problem for anyone. <laughs> Please save my little rats. Alright, we have to go down there and save some rats. Come on, Martin. Let's get into the basement here. So something's been killing her rats. I wonder what could have... Oh my gosh, that's a mountain lion. <laughs> Martin! We need your help! Yeah. Good job. Kill the mountain lion. Hey! Comet, buddy. So... That was a mountain lion. Okay, we, we might want to inform her that she may have had a mountain lion in her basement. Arvena? You didn't tell me about the lion. Well, what have you found? Did you take care of my babies? What was going on down there? It was a mountain lion. A mountain lion? In my basement? But how? That's not possible, but it happened. What if there are more? What if it wasn't alone? Where there's one, there will be more. Find Pinarus and Ventius. He's a hunter and knows this area inside and out. He'll know what to do. Sure, rushing through those lines there. All right, sure. Please, go find Pinarus and those mountain lions. <sighs> we have to go and talk to a hunter in town to figure out where the mountain lions are coming from. <laughs> Such a weird quest. It's enjoyable enough, though. Let's see... That's not his house. Is this it, then? Penrus Inventius. Better invent himself a better name. Hey, He's upstairs. Move. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, wow. What can I do for you? Look at this guy. Penrus Inventius. Hunter, woodsman, and marksman at your service. Well, I want to talk about mountain lions. Mountain lions? Here. <laughs> Odd. If they're around, I can find them. Come with me. A hunt will do us good and maybe make that old nut feel better. Wow, rude. Okay. Anvil. Plenty of deer, wolf, boar, mountain lion, bear in the county. Just need to know where to look for them. Yep. Let's go hunting. Let's go hunting, Penarus. What do you have here? Is anything good? Anything I might want? Oh, that's right. I should actually probably bring up the list of skill books here in uh, here in Breville. Let me just do that real quick here. Just scroll on down to the anvil section, just so we can get it if we stop by. Let's see. Do we have a couple? Yes, we do. Castle Anvil, Anvil Fighter Skills, Royal Quarters, Chapel Hall, Fighter Skills. Smuggler's Cave under Anvil Castle. Oh my. Well done. Isn't that part of a DLC? Oh well. I'll figure that out. For now though. Let's go and uh, follow Pinarus Inventius and go on a quest for the mountain lion. 
Yes. Gotta figure out where they're coming from. This is mysterious. Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> Martin is like, I thought we were going to Coral. What is this? This is not where I wanted to go. With Sean Bean's depressing, depressing voice. It's probably because Sean Bean knows he's gonna die. It's what happens. Every movie is what happens. Martin does relatively well, though, I have to say. Alright, everybody. See, you. this is ex you're walking excruciatingly slowly, Pinarus. I think we can actually wait around a little bit. It should be like straight up the road here. Okay, Pinarus, let's. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's just say Pinarus walked for an hour. That didn't even help! Uh, oh well, at least at least the sun is but as the sun, at least the weather has cleared. There's no more fog. We can have a beautiful look at the scenery, ah, and admire the beauty of all of it. That's something. Oh, the Black Horse Courier lady. Even though we've read every issue so far, <laughs> doink. Evening. Evening. <laughs> Stops casually. All right. Can you believe this guy, Martin? Can you believe this Pinarus guy? Thinking he owns this whole road? <sighs> well, after we're done with this Fighter's Guild mission, we'll want to consider getting ourselves a little recommendation, the final recommendation. Probably stay a little while in Anvil, have some fun adventures, check out that fort and go get Rock Shatter, and then of course, back on the road to the Imperial City to visit the Arcane University. If they're out here, they'll be in this area. I can't imagine there are more than four of them. Let's take care of this. Alright, buddy. Uh, I think I see them. I have a slight clue as to where the mountain lions might reside. We're standing in the middle of them. That should be enough of a... Okay, there we go. Martin, help! Martin! They're not even attacking me. Martin, what? They won't help because I'm not in trouble. I think I think you're on your own here, dudes. Yeah, Pinarus, I'm sorry. They refuse to acknowledge my existence. You're gonna have to do this one solo. Don't worry. Oh, I healed a mountain lion. Whoops. I'm so sorry. Pinarus. There we go. <laughs> Accidentally healed a mountain lion, he fought. Hey, not too shabby, huh? I think we did well. I think that'll be all of them. Can't imagine more in this area. You can go tell Arvena this is all taken care of. Good hunting. I'm sorry I didn't help you, but it was not like I couldn't do anything. They weren't aggressive towards me, so ugh, whatever. I'm sure he understands and that he doesn't judge me. But once we also go back to the Arcane University, I want to sleep a few levels, I think. We want to up the difficulty a little bit, and we also want to get the sweet, sweet attribute points. More magicka, more willpower, more speed, more health. Ah, that'll be wonderful. Yes, let's go back to Arvina and tell her that the problem has been taken care of. Still, how did a mountain lion get into her basement? It's not something that happens every day. I've yet to experience a mountain lion in my own basement. I don't know, have you? Hey! You've got to take care of those mountain lions! I did. You think you've gotten rid of them all? You do? Well, you haven't! There's one in my basement right now! Go get it! I admire that the voice actors went all out. Like, some of these guys sound a little bored in their line delivery, even when it's supposed to be dramatic, but this woman was like, no, hold my beer. I got this. Mountain lions in my basement! Uh-oh. Uh, we have a problem. Martin, the rats are dying. Come to my aid, rats. Oh boy. Wait, where's Martin when you need him? All right, we're gonna need a Daedroth. You no longer have a mountain lion in your basement. You have a Daedroth in your basement. Oh boy. Easy boy. Martin just owns. <laughs> oh, and that ass, oh. That ass though. Look at him. Martin is just officially a badass. He's 
I could I, I I can trust him more than my own companions right now. I should have brought Martin with me from the very start of the game. <laughs> oh, hey. Like the gods you killed that thing. This is ridiculous. Someone's out to get me, to get my poor babies. I'll bet it's that quill weave next door. Quill weave? She's the one. She's never liked me or my sweet little pets. I know it's her. I've even seen her sneaking around in back of my house at night. She thinks she's so smart. She and all the other women. I'll show her. I want you to keep an eye on her. Find out what she's up to. Okay, so she suspects... Please save my little rats. She suspects some foul play from her neighbor, Quillweave. Now, if you remember, Quillweave is the Argonian that we passed by in Coral, actually. Uh, so that's been a while, and I mistakenly mistook her for Sidneus. So that's... Good job there. Let's see, I should watch Quillweave. Okay. Let's see... Where's Quillweave at the moment? Does she hang out somewhere? She's just at her house. Alright. Gotta do a little bit of stealth work. You know? Oh, you're not- you're not that sneaky, Martin. I'm sorry. Just leave this work to a professional. Actually, there was a red guard walking down the street there. I kinda wanted to talk to him. Is he still around? No. Oh well. I can't remember when she goes out and does her thing. If that's morning or evening. I thought it was during the night, but... Doesn't look like it. Let's just wait around a little bit and see what she decides to do. Oh! Quillwee was out and about. She's on the move. Oh. Wait, she's already... Let's see, where was it again? <gasps> what the? Venison? Near a hole in the back? So yeah, this is what Quillweave is up to. I'm supposed to kind of catch her in the act. So what do I do now that she's already done it? How do I make the game know that I know what's going on in the quest? Do I pick up a venison? Do I jump in the hole? I know what's going on. I realize. You gotta be kidding me. I know what she's doing. I've seen her with the meat. Do I talk to her? Hey. What? I saw what you're doing. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of, but don't do it without any proof. But I have the proof. Farewell. It's right here. I know. Oh, there she is. I'm hiding. Come on. Do it. There we go! Finally saw her! Yes. What can I do for you? I know what you're doing. You what? Well, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. I would never go skulking about. Fine. You've got me. I figured if I left some rotten meat outside, the nasty little things would come out, and the guards would take care of them. Mountain lions? Mountain lions? In her basement? I just wanted to lure her vermin outside. I didn't mean to hurt anyone, except the rats. Please, don't tell her. And if you can keep this our little secret, I can make it worth your while. There's a bit about acrobatics I can teach you. Give it some thought. All right. Rumors? I saw that Penarus Inventius was out hunting again. He can shoot a bird on the wing without really trying. Yeah, he took on four mountain lions by himself. Be seeing you. Because of you, by the way. Whatevs. Let's go back to Arvina and decide if we want to tell her or not that Quillweave's involved. The difference is that we get a plus one to either speechcraft or acrobatics, so... Oh, my poor little rat. So, did you follow her? She's behind it, isn't she? Tell me what you found out. She had nothing to do with it. She didn't, huh? Hmm. <laughs> but you've taken care of the problem, and I suppose that's what counts. Thanks for that. Here's your payment. Yay, rumors? The shipmaster Heinrich Ockenhull has a wood elf for a wife. 
I'd rather sleep with my horse. What? Oh, my rats are so cute. What? Okay, that's a thing that just happened. It's like when you're hanging around with someone and suddenly they say something really racist and you're just like, okay, fine. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's go see if we can't find Quill Weave somewhere skulking about. So, you didn't sell me out. I appreciate that. Well, I said I'd make it worth your while. So let me teach you a little something. You've got to be light on your feet to make it around here. And that's something I'm good at. Maybe you can be too. Take care. Yay, so that increases an acrobatics level. And it's quest complete. Anvil? Between the sailors and shipmen of the port and my little local circle of friends, I have plenty of yarns for knitting up my tails. All right. You too. She's the writer who's making that new series on Doomstones. Now I remember. We read about that. Okay. What's next? Hmm. Actually, there's another quest in Anvil that involves sleeping. I'm not sure if it triggers a full sleep. Where is it? Is it at the Count's Arms? There's somebody in town selling a house. It's not the Count, actually. Hello there. Hey. I'm Wilbur, owner and proprietor of the Count's Arms. We make beds and food available to guests. Can I help you? Rumors? Have you heard about Kavaj? They say that Deirdre came from oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. Yep, that's the thing. Buildings here look different. Why? This is the Gold Coast style. Like in Hammerfell. Eastern towns look gray and dull to me. The Red Guard voice actor has been around forever. Like, he was like the main voice of Cyrus in uh, The Elder Scrolls Red Guard, even. Uh, he's a classic. Good day. Good day. If you want nightmares, you can feel free to look up gameplay of that game. Let's see. I wanted to just talk a little bit with the people here. This seems like a fine place for me to get some info, some rumors, figure out what I can do here in town. Other than the main quest, that's so predictable. Hey. Hello, good lady. Hello, I am Velwyn Benaris. If you're in the market, I'm selling a manor house right now for a very good price. A manor? Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house, Benaris Manor. If you're interested, I could let you have it for a modest sum. I have to sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Once you buy, you get the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? Sure, here's 5,000 golds. Excellent. Here's the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. I hope you enjoy your new home. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to those pressing matters I spoke of earlier. Good day. Hey, that was an easy How quest. Do do? Buy a house Hello. and everything is good with the world. I love the fact that they have different pictures from in different cities. It's so good. Like, the loading screen's themed replacer is so, so cool. So we just bought ourselves a new house. 5,000 isn't too bad of a price. It's... Let's see... Yeah, it's down here. Now we've done the Anvil quest, so... I, do we still go back there and ask for the quest? I think, I think, I think we do go back there and see if we can get an advancement or something. The fighter skill progression is, is a little iffy. Benarus Manor! Oh boy, what a place we've gotten. I've arrived at my new house. Looks like the place may need some work, but it was a great deal. I just couldn't pass it up. I can now make myself at home. Ah. Isn't that sweet? But it remains an active quest, so you might wonder... Why does it remain an active quest? Why is the quest called where spirits have lease? Where's the bloody staircase? Oh, there it is. Needless to say, I don't spend too much time here. Well, Martin... I hope you don't mind sharing a bed with me. I mean, do I have a separate bed for him in the guest room? No, but I promise you. I mean, you could be sleeping with worse. 
I look pretty good by Cyrodiil standards. Let's have a little nap, shall we? Oh, gosh. That startled me, so I... What the? Ghosts! Why are there ghosts in my manor? This is must be why the price was so cheap. I am outraged and shocked. Alright, so Martin's gonna go at them and fight them. I think this is once again another perfect opportunity for us to practice just a little bit of... Ooh, actually weak fireball. Fire, five points in three seconds. Actually, it might be better than Finger of the Mountain for the most part, and I gave this thing shit. Feel so bad for that now. Alright. Oh boy. But it works on feet, so it's going to make flame... Okay, it's gonna make flamey aggressive eventually. That's the problem here. Let's just go regular flare. Alright. Let's get these ghost boys. Ghost boys, ghost boys. So we still don't level up. Oh my, okay. That's fine. Uh oh, Brother Martin! Uh, I think I just killed Uriel Septim's last son. Yeah, it looks like the world's gonna fall into darkness after all. That's a shame. He's kinda liking this place. Oh, he's back up. Battling ghosts, man. Ain't it fun? Uh, I simply don't really have the power to deal with them. Let's just do a little restore magic here and see if we can spawn a new... Oh, we can soon use the Will of Cities. Actually, can we? Oh, can we? Uh, that's something I have to actually check out. I could maybe turn some of these undead here, but I kind of want to take care of them a little bit, so... There's no point in that. Let's see, what was I going to do? I wanted to summon... Flamey. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Poor Brother Martin, though. He's getting beat up so badly. Let's go, Flare. Let's go. Ah. Oh, we almost got them now. Come on, Martin, get back up. All right, we got one. We got one. Next one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, boy, there's two of them, actually. Oh, well, great destruction training. Maybe we'll actually get the journey, man. That would be quite something. Wow, I can't even use enough Magicka right now to even have it go down because of my current active potion, so that's... That's something. Play Matronarch. Is there a, real, a better way for me to be dealing with these? Because I don't have that much... I, I just don't really... That's something we need to do. I think actually, yeah, I would have it after the Arcane University, because I could start tossing up my weakened spells and make these go susceptible to... Uh, and more powerful spells, but I can't hit Flamey constantly, because that just leads to bad things happening. Poor brother Martin, he's like having to join me in like a haunted house, instead of going to save the world. Uh, I'm... I'm stuck. This is slightly disconcer- okay, um... I'm I can't really seem to get anywhere. Oh no. Somebody help! There we go. The drawer possessed me there for a second. Oh, we got him. Just one more ghost now, Martin. You got this. This is nothing. Oh my gosh. This is this is why I love fighting For ghosts, Akatosh. by the way. For Akatosh, my friend. Let's go get him. Go, Flamey. Tries to punch a ghost, and I immediately regret summoning you. All right, come on. We got this. Martin's a good distraction at the very least. That must be said. Oh wow, oh, Martin's down. He's getting back up now. Wonderful. Come on, come on. We must be getting air journeyman right now. But right, he's down again. Knocked out cold, oh boy. Martin, he's just laying face down on the floor. Wake up, brother Martin, I need you. There's a ghost. We almost have him now, buddy. Almost have him now. And he's down again. <laughs> this poor guy. I feel so bad for him having to come along on my adventures. Okay, should almost be dead now. So close now, Martin, I promise. Just a few more slashes. Fight fire with fire. And... Finish him. Bam. 
Ah, <sighs> Benarus Manor is haunted. Oh no. That was scary. I should search the house and investigate. Again, really sorry about that, Martin. Did get some shock damage poison material, though. That's something. Let's make a couple of those in case we need them. So that was rather sinister, but we survived. I think we have to go to the basement. I can't really remember this quest all that well. This just seems to be a likely solution. Is there anything in the basement? Ooh, there's like some green light there. <laughs> that is not what you want to find in your basement. A sealed portal. I can't seem to activate it. Oh god, there goes my torch. Okay, I'm getting spooked down here. Don't don't have my torch go out on me like that. Spooky stuff. Just wanna fix up on that. Okay, I found I found a portal. This is kind of bad. I should search the house and investigate. Yeah. I feel like I have though. I found that. I'm not quite sure what to do with it as a result. I can't seem to interact with it. Okay, so it looks like we were doing this in slightly the wrong order, actually. That seems to be our problem right here. We aren't supposed to go down into the basement. What we are supposed to do is go to the ground floor and find this. Right there. I found a skeletal hand next to a page from a diary. The diary makes mention of a secret room in the house that only a true-blooded Benarist can open. I'm gonna need to talk to Welvin about this. I may have to ask around town to find out where he's gone. People of Envil are worms. Are they to criticize what they don't understand? To have my vengeance. Oh my, I can pause and read this if you want to. But it's... Sinist... What? Okay, more ghosts. Screw ghosts. We're not fighting those. We're leaving. Let's see. So we have to ask around town if we want to find out where he's at. Hello. How are you? Langley. Captain of the Anvil Guard. Velvin? I'm not sure where he went. But I would ask at the Count's Arms. If anyone knows where he is, it would be someone there. That right, makes sense. Any rumors? You hear about Gogan. A gang of thieves is running a scam in town, and he fell for it. <laughs> what an idiot. A gang? An all-female gang of thieves has been recently plaguing Anvil with a very unique method of robbing. They pick on only the men. If you want to help us do something about it, go talk to Gogan and Melona. Let's just say Gogan is intimately involved and leave it at that. Oh, oh my. The Siren's Deception. Tell me about Anvil. Pretty, isn't it? And quiet. Not much work for us. Hmm. Be seeing you. Okay, so he's pointed us in the direction of a quest. Wonderful. We also now know that we need to go to the Count's Arms to get more information about Velvin. Oh, look at all the colors, they're really popping today. That looks nice. That looks very, very nice. Ah, uh, right here is Melona. We could talk to her about the Siren's Deception, but let's not try to have... ...too many quests running all at the same time, huh? I just want to stop by the Fighter's Guild here, briefly. Because I know that there are two skill books here that we would want, so while we're in the area... I also want to go and talk to Azan and see if I can get a promotion. So I need to remember how the... ...ranking system here... ...works. Azan? That's... You're not Azan. You're not the man I'm looking for. Let's see... In a chest... And... Third floor back. display case. This is... Well met. Second... Oh. I think this is second floor, but still... Ah, oh, where's my cursor? There we go. What's this? Clan for claws. Ooh, they gave me that. Stand the ugly. It doesn't look that bad. I've seen worse from people who are supposed to look normal. So... Eh, you're okay. Yes, this is the one. 
This is indeed the one. The death blow. The death blow of Ibernanich. Ibernanich. It's a block skill book. I'll take that. Wonderful, then we can cross that off the list. Then we have to go to a third floor display case. I think this is the second floor. So if we go up to the company offices, we should be able to find Fighter Skill History, first edition. Hey, what do you know? There's also the guy that we're looking for. What is this? Ceremonial, Minotaur Horn, Data Heart. The Wolf Queen Volume 8. I'm not gonna pick that up because I'll confuse it with the skill book. And the Fighter Skilled First Edition History. That's heavy armor and block. Wonderful. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? A pleasure to speak with you. Can I get an advancement now? You've done well so far. I hereby promote you to apprentice. Good luck. Aw, oh, thank you. Do you have a new contract? Looking for more work, eh? Good. Got a contract for you. I'd like you to go talk to Norbert Lels here in Anvil. Okay. He runs Lels Quality Merchandise here in Anvil. He's been having problems with break-ins, though, and he's hired us to put a stop to it. The unfortunate shopkeeper. All right, I'll go talk to him. Any rumors? Have you heard about Kavach? Yep. They say that Deirdre came from oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. Been there, done that. Not burned the city to the ground, of course. Anvil? Our Fighters Guild chapter here is big, primarily because we're a training center, which earns us each a good living. Yeah, that's nice for you. Take care of Lels. He needs the help. All right, Martin, we're going on new adventures. But I don't understand. Why? You are not leading me Hello. to the... I, I can't do Sean Bean, but you know what I mean. He, Martin, if he could actually comment on this, he wouldn't be too pleased right now. That much is clear. Uh, oh, there's so much to do here in Anvil, but we're out of time once again for the episodes. You okay there? He is just giving me the Luigi death stare right now. Well, guys and girls, regardless of that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and that you will tune in next time when Martin loses his shit. But until that day comes, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.